Good morning, everyone. It's uh, June 27th. It's a Tuesday. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm just a few blocks away from where the uh, great uh, uh, Chris Christofferson once hung out with the bootleg preacher Will Campbell, Will D. Campbell, and the uh, outlaw country and the bootleg preacher, the uh, kind of the theology of roots music. This is who Teacher on the Radio is. And uh, it being summer, and I can't seem to find my way up to the third floor of the University Center on a Monday night. Last night, I was dancing to a band called the Stolen Faces, a dead cover band here, tribute band at the Acme down at the lower Broadway, Nashville, Heart of Nashville. These are on a Monday night. Nashville was alive with music. It's summer. I don't know if I'm going to want to go on campus that much since I'm not teaching uh, this summer. So here I am uh, talking to you about a playlist I made. And I don't want to let 301, uh, episode 301, just kind of hang out in the air where we we can't hear it. It came to me the other day, uh, hippies and cowboys. And, you know, my location, I was born in the uh, Windy City. I'm speaking to you. Uh, from the music city, my heart is stretched between uh, Motown and Memphis, and my musical uh, tug is is some kind of combination of Laurel Canyon and uh, Muscle Shoals, and so it's that intersection of blues and rock, but folk and country, and uh, um, they call it Americana, they call it alternative country, they call it Southern rock. So I picked up this book by this guy. Uh, never heard of him before a couple days ago. His name is Mark Kemp. And, and he said, for my part, I loved the land that surrounded me, but hated the history that haunted that land. And that history had a huge impact on the attitudes of the people around me. It was confusing. The Allman Brothers Band and Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top on Marshall Tucker Band created a safe space within that confusion. And so we're kind of exploring outlaw country and southern rock in this playlist today and i want you to hear it i want you to get on your spotify and click play there's 25 songs and remember you know southern rock isn't just woohoo you know uh so there's a lot of contemporary i mean there's jason isbell inspired this playlist by the way the new album the national sound is incredible so there's jason isbell all through this playlist i'm currently obsessed with isbell and the lyrics on his new album uh listen to them all but I have to remind myself that Southern Rock is also, you know, uh, transplants to Nashville like Jack White and Dan Auerbach. It's also the uh, the Kings of Leon. But especially for me, it's Jim James and My Morning Jacket. And it's Michael Stipe and R.E.M. from Georgia. I mean, back in the day. Also, uh, widespread panic. Woo! Going to go see Panic at the Sloss Fest here soon. Uh, and then I had to put some women in there. But... Uh, you know, uh, I don't know how to put this uh, mildly, but uh, we uh, light-skinned humans, we white folks, we got some problems, and we need to repent of the sin of uh, white supremacy and racism, and we need to be allies, and we need to work for justice and peace in our communities. But most of all, we need to heal ourselves because we can't be agents of healing or helping of anybody else if we don't get over our stuff over our guilt and shame and our weird burden the white man's burden i don't even know what that means like uh, i picked up a book at the vanderbilt library the other day on alternative country whatever that means so i don't know what this thing is but this is what i love about the south and by the way it's taken me a long time to make this Leap. I've started in this direction several years ago. Uh, Everybody Fields. I booked that show at Tech in in 2008. I mean, I've been in this Americana bluegrassy thing for a long time. But I've lived in Tennessee for now 21 years. I'm a Yankabilly transplant, and I've lived here longer than anywhere else. I've been to uh, two institutions of higher learning here in Tennessee. I work in uh, Tennessee higher education. I've been a Tennessee State employee for my whole career here. I, uh, I preach at two country churches in Sparta, Tennessee. Uh, and what I love, I mean, it's the, the humidity and the heat and the dirt and the 
and the wildlife and the critters and the uh, creeks and the waterfalls and the collard greens and the cornbread. And I love my home. And so this is a home shout out um, and uh, dedicated to my beautiful wife and that beautiful accent that I fell in love with, that East Tennessee, uh, uh, just purr that warms my heart. And I dedicate it to Troy Smith, who's from Sparta, as a great author and a friend and a colleague and understands these weird, complicated issues of race and class and, and gender that are all tied up with our our complicated place. So, but most of all, this is just some good old music. Rock out to uh, hippies and cowboys. And it's an asterisk because it's not live on WTTU, but it's a uh, teacher on the radio number 301 asterisk. Um, and this comment is coming direct from Nashville, Tennessee, in the heart of the Music Row area. I'm staying over at the Scarrett Bennett Center because they can have a, a moderately affordable room in Nashville today. Um, and so um, put on your headphones, play it in your car. But love all over this playlist, this Hippies and Cowboys playlist. This is Teacher on the Radio uh, signing off. I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful day.